Okay, so King Crocodile, you did say that inconsistencies in the predictions made by the Big Bang Theory will falsify the theory. You dishonestly implied that the evidence that I presented is weak and dishonest when I did nothing but to present the exact evidence that you said that will falsify the Big Bang Theory. In total, I presented six incorrect predictions for the Big Bang Theory and three of them are present in your list. You presented this list with a whole bunch of alleged correct predictions and you specifically stated that if any of these predictions is proven wrong, the Big Bang will be falsified. So, for the sake of simplicity, I will focus on the incorrect predictions on your list and just ignore all the other incorrect predictions. So let's talk about the specific predictions in your list. Number one, the expansion of the universe. The Big Bang predicts a deaccelerated expansion of the universe, when in fact we observe an accelerated expansion. In other words, the Big Bang incorrectly predicted a deaccelerated expansion. Sure, you can invoke things like dark energy to explain this. However, by invoking dark energy you are making the argument unfalsifiable. It doesn't matter if the universe is expanding or contracting. It doesn't matter if the universe is accelerating or deaccelerating. The Big Bang is consistent with every, uh, with every possible scenario. All you have to do is invoke dark energy or something else any time things do not match your predictions. You cannot use the expansion of the universe as evidence for the Big Bang because by your logic any other scenario will also be consistent with the Big Bang and even more important, it is still an incorrect prediction. It is a fact that the Big Bang predicted something and it is a fact that this prediction was proven wrong. Therefore, by your rules, this is enough to falsify the Big Bang theory. This is a discrepancy on a prediction made by the Big Bang. Number 2. Cosmic Microwave Radiation As I stated in my previous video, if the Big Bang theory were true, then the temperature and other properties of the cosmic microwave radiation shouldn't be homogeneous. The universe, in the context of the Big Bang theory, is too young for homogeneity to be achieved. However, apparently the temperature of the cosmic microwave radiation is nearly identical in all the universe. This problem is known as the horizon problem. This problem is known and accepted in the scientific community, scientists do not deny this, the existence of this problem, and unlike anti-creationists in YouTube, scientists know and admit that the Big Bang has this serious problem. Sure, there are hypotheses that try to solve this problem, however, scientists try to solve this problem with inflation. In other words, there was a time where the universe expanded millions of times faster than the speed of light. However, this hypothesis has never been tested. Sure, you can accept this hypothesis if you want, but you have to understand and respect that there are good reasons to be skeptical about this hypothesis. You cannot simply invent untestable mechanisms like inflation and expect everyone to accept it without any skepticism. Even crazy theories like the geocentric model or astrology can solve all their scientific problems by inventing untestable mechanisms and hypotheses. And, even more important, it is a fact that the temperature of the cosmic microwave radiation is nearly identical in all directions, and it is a fact that the Big Bang predicted the opposites. So, by your own standards, this is enough to falsify the Big Bang theory. And of course, since the temperature of the cosmic microwave radiation indicates that the radiation is older than 14 billion years old, there is something older than the universe, disproving another prediction from your list. Number 3. Abundance of Elements And finally, the Big Bang predicted a given abundance of lithium. This prediction was proven wrong. You acknowledged this in your last video, but you simply minimized this, pro this problem. But you were the one who said that an inconsistency in the prediction is enough to falsify your theory. You said that discrepancies in the predictions made by the Big Bang will falsify the theory. All I did was showing a discrepancy. If this kind of discrepancies do not falsify the Big Bang theory, then why claiming so in the first place? So, King Crocodile, just to summarize, 
Number one, you did say that showing inconsistencies in the predictions made by the Big Bang is enough to falsify it. And I did show examples of inconsistencies in the predictions. None of these examples is controversial nor, nor denied by scientists. So, by your rules, not mine, I did falsify the Big Bang theory. Sure, I understand that hypotheses have been proposed to explain these inconsistencies, but all, all the hypotheses that have ever been proposed are either unfalsifiable or have been falsified, and it is completely reasonable to be a skeptic about these hypotheses. Maybe these hypotheses are correct, maybe they are not. So, King Crocodoc, let's start all over again and let me repeat my original question. What does it take to falsify the Big Bang Theory? Or let, let's make it simpler, what does it take to justify some skepticism in the Big Bang Theory? We now know that inconsistencies in the predictions won't make it because I've shown many incorrect predictions and apparently it's not enough. So please explain, what does it take for you to conclude that it is intellectually valid to be a skeptic about the Big Bang Theory. So, this is my video, I will include my sources in the description box and I will also include the script from this video in the description box. Have a nice day!